Good morning to our devotion, Wednesday devotion at First United Methodist Church in Mount Gilead. And we're just delighted that you have joined us this morning. Our scripture this morning comes from uh, 1 Samuel 17, verses 32 and 40 through 47. And David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones with, with the from the stream and put them in a pouch in his shepherd's bag. And with his sling in his hand, he approached the Philistine. Meanwhile, the Philistine with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked at David and saw that he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despised him. And he said to David, am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I will give you give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. And David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. And the day the, and this day the Lord will hand you over to me, and I will strike you down, and I will cut your head off. In one verse from Second Corinthians, verse the fifth chapter, verse seven. We live by faith and not by sight. Let us bow for a prayer. Father God, help us to see you better this day as we struggle with our problems of life. Let us feel your Holy Spirit working in our bodies as we share your love with each other. Let others notice the power of Jesus in our lives as we share his love. Let us learn to live by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our devotion this morning actually comes from our daily bread, and this is from February the 12th, and this is by Ann Cetus. Gary was experiencing some balance issues while walking, so his doctor ordered physical therapy to improve his balance. And during one session, the therapist told him, you're trusting too much in what you can see, even when it's wrong. You're not depending enough on your other systems, what you feel under your feet in your inner ear signals, which are also meant to help you keep your balance. Your trusting too much in what you can see brings to mind the story of David, a young shepherd and his encounter with Goliath. For 40 days, Goliath, a Philistine champion, strutted in front of the Israelite army, taunting them to send someone out to fight him. But what the people focused on naturally caused them fear. Then young David showed up because his father had asked him to take supplies to his older brothers. What David did at, at this situation, by faith in God, not by sight. He saw the giant but trusted that God would rescue his people. Even though he was a boy, he told King Saul, don't worry about this Philistine, I will go fight him. Then he told Goliath, the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you over into our hands. And that's just what God did. Trusting in God's character and power can help us to live more closely by faith rather than sight. There's a hymnal in, the Methodist, in, in our Methodist hymn book called Trust and Obey, found on page 467. This hymn was inspired in 1886 by the Reverend Dwight L. Moody at one of his revival services in Brockton, Massachusetts. When a young man rose during a testimony meeting and said, I am not quite sure, but I'm going to trust and I'm going to obey. The Reverend J.H. Samus, a Presbyterian minister, wrote the hymn. This hymn has been in the Methodist hymnal since 1897. I would like to read the words, if you do not mind, to the hymn of Trust and Obey. It's, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides in us still and with all who will trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but our toil he doth richly repay. Not a grief or a loss, nor a frown or a cross, but is best if we trust and obey. But in 
but we never can prove the delights of his love until all at the altar we lay for the favor he shows, for the joy he bestows, all, all for them who will trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet or we'll walk by his side on the way. What he says we will do, where he says we will go, never fear, only trust and obey. And the refrain goes like this, trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Let us bow for a closing prayer. Our Father in God, we love you and we praise you. And for the beauty of this day, we give you thanks. But Father, we just ask that, that you will help, help us instill in our hearts that we are truly supposed to trust and obey in you. Father, we thank you for the love that you have for us. And Father, we thank you, for the, thank you that we're able to share this love with others. And Father, we just ask that we too may trust and obey. Amen.